Hey guys, Corey here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming to hang out with me for another Clash of Clans video. Exciting video today for me because we're going to be covering my absolute favorite Town Hall 11 attack strategy, Pekka Bobat. Let's do it. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to attempt to take out a fully maxed Town Hall 12 with my baby Town Hall 12 using this Pekka Bobat army. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, throw a like on the video as well, guys. Let's dive right in. We're talking about Pekka, Bobat. The idea of this army is sending in basically your whole army. You're going to funnel, then you're going to send in those Pekkas with the heroes, the bowlers, the healers, all those things right through the core of a base. And you're really trying to take out most of the base with that squad, but in particular, you're trying to take out all the splash damage. Splash damage uh, buildings, just the ones that hit air to protect your bats later on. So we're talking multi-target infernos, we're talking wizard towers, and that's it. Multi-target infernos and wizard towers. That is it. So if you look at this base, he's got these double walls out here, all right, to keep troops from breaking in. But we got a town hall on the far side of the base, and uh, the wall racker doesn't care how many walls are in front of it. It's going to break in. So Trevor's going to pick this for his entry. The beautiful part about this, these double space walls right here, is if you can get bowlers into here through this first layer of the wall, there's no chance they're going to try and walk around as long as you funnel all this trash on the outside. If you look at the inner layer of the funnel, bowlers are not going to try to walk they're gonna head right in but there's a lot of funneling to do outside that wall so let's take a look at how trevor gets it accomplished he's gonna invest very heavily in the funnel each side gets a pekka and two loons per defense so that's oh my gosh guys that's 45 camp space per side to create this funnel and guys i've said it a bunch of times i'll say it again don't be afraid to invest enough troops to get that funnel established all right so you'll see what he had left to go in was only two pekkas then his heroes seven bowlers four healers all right but he does have another pekka inside the wall wrecker and because that funnel was perfect it's going to be plenty in fact he's only coming into this space with three pekkas let's pay attention to how many of those Pekka's he has left at the end of this raid. Beautiful rage there coming into that section. Wants to start him off doing a lot of damage and then a Grand Warden ability to kind of keep those Pekka's and Bowlers alive through the Loon Blast going in. Queen is working on cleaning up all those pups. Pekka's and Bowlers are already doing their thing. Look how deep the Wall Wrecker got in there, you guys. If you put your Pekka's down before your Wall Wrecker, it'll make it a lot further into the base. So guys, hold on. We're going to pause. Look at what we got left. All right, most of the splash damage is gone. Well, kind of like half. We still got three wizard towers in the backside. But of those three, two of them are facing in, firing on those P.E.K.K.A.s right there. So as long as they're being tanked by those P.E.K.K.A.s, they're not going to pose any problem to the bats. We look at all the rest of the defenses going on around here. No real splash damage left. So he's got those bats coming in from the right-hand side, and they're just going to work their way straight throughout this base. Had an ice golem for the backside. Um, couldn't really tank any of these splash damage defenses, but I'm thinking this was a fresh hit. He didn't know where that Tesla farm was, so he wanted an ice golem in case of an unknown Tesla farm out there. That one remaining wizard tower that wasn't being tanked, that's where the free spells comes in. Uses two free, two free spells on the wizard tower, and since he didn't have any splash damage left, he went ahead and just froze this last section. Had two Teslas in there, had an archer tower in there. It might not be splash damage, but those air targeting defenses will definitely still chip away at the bats and guys look at this look i told you to t pay attention to how many pekkas are left only three went into the base and through all three of those pekkas are going to be surviving the raid guys he just now popped his queen ability just to get her through that wall she wasn't even low on health guys still has a ton of bats running around helping clean up the base barbarian king is still alive only went in with two pekkas and one in the wall wrecker and he just didn't lose much guys he lost healers and bowlers that's about it guys this base absolutely annihilated he did a perfect job of executing and a perfect job of identifying this base as being won this week to pekka bobat let's go check out our next example so our last example was of just a really beautifully identified and executed attack. Um, that one was by Trevor. This one's also by Trevor. This one's not going to go so smooth. This one's more of a good example of just how powerful this attack is. You can literally screw up some serious stuff and still have a good chance of getting a three-star 
with his attack. That's how powerful it is. Check out this one. He sent his king into a Tesla farm. Probably didn't know it was there, but as a result, he's not going to get that funnel established all the way. Look at that. Look at that storage that's still up over on that side. Something is going to draw the queen down and outside of the base. She's not going in. And it's not a hound CC this time, you guys. There's a big dragon in that CC. And with that queen walking around the outside of this base, there is zero things in there that can kill that dragon. He has no wizards, not even any archers in there, air targeting to help kill that dragon. He's got one poison, but you guys know one poison is not enough to kill a maxed out big dragon. So he's in trouble at this point. What is going to kill the dragon on this raid? You guys are about to see. Queen's just kind of doing her thing on the outside of the base, but Pekka's and Bowlers are still doing good things in there, still getting a lot of the splash damage taken out of this bat base. In fact, the queen walking around, she ended up taking out another wizard tower. Um, and look at this. Just like that, we've only got two splash damage structures in this base. We got that multi-target Inferno in the middle. He decides to start his bats right there in the middle of the base that is so unorthodox normally you're going to start him on the outside of a base but he didn't trust the path and he wanted to get that multi taken out early now the wizard tower is a non-issue because he brought that ice golem and it is so easily tanked by that ice golem right there just absolutely beautiful job and now the dragon even goes down and kills the queen dragon still has a slither, sliver of health that dragon's still alive you guys and this raid is still going bats are moving throughout the base since he didn't have any splash damage defenses left he goes ahead and starts freezing any other air targeting defenses he can up there it just ended up being that archer tower oh my god what ended up taking out that dragon finally was it the archers on the left Oh my god, you guys. I honestly, when I first watched this real quick, I thought the bats killed the dragon because I've had that happen before. I've had my queen walk. I've had a big dragon survive. And I've had my bats towards the end of the raid reach over and just wreck the dragon and three-star base. It's Guys, that's how strong this attack is. Something that serious can go wrong. That dragon spent two minutes in that base firing on P.E.K.K.A.s, firing on bowlers, firing on the warden, firing on the healers. And, you know, as a result, killed them all and he's still gonna triple it anyways guys that's how powerful this attack is it's absolutely insane guys let's check out our next example and guys yeah let's check out our next example here is another example right here this is a little different entry than the first two that we've seen this is going to be a queen walk into the pekka bobat entry which is actually the version that i learned first so that when i first started using this attack that was all i would look for i would look for that queen walk where i could queen walk into a nice entry um and then i saw hex wrecking a bunch of bases with it just entering straight in like 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 you would with an old school hghb attack and just really made it available for that many more bases but queen walking into an entry still definitely an option really good spot for it here is queen is not taking a lot of heat so he might not even have to burn his queen's ability especially if she steps out of range of that archer tower on the right and gets the peck in there soon enough but on these type of attacks if my queen gets in trouble like his is a little bit right there if you have to choose between popping her ability and using a rage i will pop her ability every single time because i want to get the most value out of those rages and you're gonna get a lot more value out of raging everything in your army than you will out of just raging your queen so there we go he managed to save his queen ability um for now though so he gets to use that a little deeper into this base excellent grand warden ability eagle shots were raining down that loon in the enemy cc was was trying to kill bowlers trying to kill pekkas so beautifully timed grand warden ability want to try and time that thing when your army is going to be taking the most damage and uh, he did a great job of that right there look at this guys what do we have left in the base unfortunately he didn't plan his pathing out I would say as well as he could have because he still has three splash damage structures. Four, actually. If you count that wizard tower on the very bottom there, I would think the, the queen would reach down and grab that. But she's not pathing that way. So he gets the first freeze on that wizard tower. But... Oh, he should have used the second freeze on that wizard tower because it wrecked a lot of bats. So he used the last two on the multi-target inferno, as you guys can see. This one did not go perfect to plan. He lost those bats. He didn't even get that much with the bats. And that's why this is another example of how powerful this attack is. He maybe got four defenses with the bats, 
maybe obviously didn't go 100 percent to plan and he's gonna triple it anyways guys how many other attacks out there do you know of where you can have serious serious things go wrong in the attack and still have a pretty good expectation of three starring just on the strength of the attack because guys the bats are strong especially if it's if it's planned well and everything goes right bats are super strong but if it doesn't guys you always have the power of those pekkas guys they're insane they're monsters they're beasts they have so much hp they do so much dps look at these pekkas just bullying their way through the rest of this base no problem guys bats died soon we got a queen left we got a ward left we got two pekkas left we got archers and wizards running around not not even close honestly all right wasn't smashed but it wasn't a close nail biter triple either it was well in hand the whole time guys now let's see if i can triple uh, i don't have it cooked on my town hall 11 but i got it cooked on my town hall 12 so i'm gonna go hit some bases see if i can get a uh, 12v12 triple using this army all right guys gonna give this base a shot i think i might actually queen walk into this one here i do believe that i will There we go. And get that cannon taken out. Some of this stuff tanked. Oh, yeah. There we go. Starting the queen right here. Going to need to pop her ability early. Just because she's taking so much damage right there. But you know what? I'm not too worried about that, honestly. Now gonna get that wall record going in because a lot of this stuff's being tanked need the king to create that funnel also need that wall record to get this wall opened up there we go come on I need everybody to go in the base right now that's exactly what i need to happen bowlers i need you to go right back in there where you were just a second ago Get that town hall down. Come on. Don't let that Grand Warden ability wear off. Do I have any bowlers left? That is the question. Oh my god, yes I do. Alright, alright. Healers are doing things. Ah, oh, that rage. I'm not going to get the full effect of that rage, unfortunately. Because uh, Pekka's broke through a wall and just kind of went in a whole other direction on me. We've got... They are pushing in... Ooh, they're pushing into that area. All right, here we go. Bats coming down on this side right here. That is exactly what's going to happen. Ice Golem's going to come down here. Need those P.E.K.K.A.s in there to take out that Wizard Tower. Come on, baby. Get it down. Get it done. Not going to happen. Oh, no. All right, there we go. Whew. Got that freeze just in time. Oh, my gosh, guys. That was a very, very close one. Oh, that's a humongous Tesla farm back there, guys. Big, huge Tesla farm, and I'm running out of bats. I don't think I got it this time, guys. I do not. Hmm. Got a bunch of Pekkas and Bowlers left, but they needed, they needed some more guidance in that base. Wonder if a jump deeper in there would help more than two of those free spells. Guys, that's what we're going to try because uh, we're definitely going to end up running out of time if nothing else on this one. We're going to try jump, get him in there a little further, see if I can get this base. Here we go, guys. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this one done. Let's check it out. get that with three loons right there i'm going to start the queen right here healers off to the right away from that air defense i'm gonna have to pop her ability there's just really no way around it i'm gonna get my king going over here gonna pop her also everything's being tanked so we need that wall record to get in there and start doing stuff there we go there we go i'm gonna get a wizard out here just to make sure we get that other building as well come on there we go there's a good queen all right Bowler's coming in as well, followed by the Grand Warden. Everything being healed up so far. Come on. Get that opened. There we go. All right. I'm trying to be patient with this first rage so that it gets us through. Gets us through that town hall. And I'm going to get this jump down nice and early. Oh, oh, pop my ward. Did I get him in time? Do I have any bowlers left? 
Oh man. Whew. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Oh my god, I, well, I think I got one bullet left. I was a little late on that Grand Ward and I was trying to place that jump spell. Happened so quickly. Come on, guys. Ooh, we got so many P.E.K.K.A.s into that back section back there. Doing some excellent, excellent work. Queen is grabbing that multi-target Inferno right there. Guys, let's see. What are we going to do here? All right, we're going to go ahead and start bats. Yes, we are. We're going to start them right here, and we're going to need some freezes. Oh, immediately, I didn't know that was reachable. Buy that wizard tower. That's not good. Get it down in time. There we go. All right, cool. Going to get some wizards back here for cleanup because we're getting tight on time, guys. We're getting very tight on, tight on time here. All right, I'm going to try to freeze for maximum value on that Tesla farm. Right now, they're all, oh, they are all being tanked. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to freeze them again. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's going to be a matter of time. I don't know, guys. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a time fail. Oh, yeah. I don't think I have enough time, you guys. Oh, man. Let's see what those bats can do. Let's see what those bats can do. 30 seconds left. Ooh. Dang, I'm so glad I had at least that many wizards. And then I got them started over there. Guys, I think I got it. I think I got this one. I think I was late on that Grand Warden ability, and my bowlers paid the price. But, man, that jump spell was amazing. Queen went down. She grabbed that bottom multi-target Inferno. Then she went up, grabbed that multi-target Inferno, allowed her to do some excellent, excellent work. Can I get it in time? Come on. There we go. That's a triple. Whew. All right. There we go. All right. I'd like to think that if I had my heroes maxed, that'd be a little bit easier. You know, it usually is with Max Heroes. Uh, definitely, definitely having a lot more challenge at Town Hall 12 than I was at Town Hall 11. But again, probably because my heroes are not maxed yet. I'm still rocking level 50 King and level 28 Grand Warden. That level 40 Grand Warden is a monster animal. The ability lasts so much longer. He does a lot more damage. I mean, big advantage there. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't done it yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. Also, join my Discord server. When you get there, send me a message. I will respond to you. Give me a follow over on Twitch because I've been streaming a lot more often. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.